Hi, today I'll be showing you how to get IIS nodes running inside of Windows, and that means we get to use Node.js applications inside of IIS. Uh, here I've got a brand new installation of Windows 8.1. I've only installed uh, four programs onto it, and that's IIS, and I've also got uh, Firefox, Notepad++, and also I've got Node and NPM to show that these are working. I'll be going to localhost. And here we go, I've got my base IES installation set up. And if we look inside of IES, we can see that go ahead. that my default website set up just here. And this is what's uh, handling this page. Um, also, if we go to uh, administrator command prompt and type node minus v, we can see that I'm running 0.12.2 of node. And also, I'm checking that. NPM minus V shows you I'm running 2.7.4. Um, so all you need for this is IS and node and NPM. Um, right, so let's get started. We're going to need to download um, IS node. So we need to go to this Tanzuk IS node GitHub thing and go down to the bottom and click on releases and then you need to download one of these either the times 86 or 64 so 64 bit or 32 bit I downloaded the 64 bit version and that gave me this file here you also need for later uh, ul rewrite which is an extension from Microsoft um, for IS so install this extension and on this page you click install now and then you will get this here. So we're going to install IS node now. This is pretty fast. Okay, done. And to show that it's properly installed, we can go into program files. And here we go. We got this is the folder which is just created our program in. We can see there's a setup samples.bat file here. We're gonna run that. Um, as an administrator, cd to uh, program files and cd to iis node and run up send run set samples to that and give us some information. We're going to say yes, continue, and then it's going to say installation successful just here. Uh, and if we go to localhost slash node, then we can see our website. So this is the uh, application which um, setup samples dot bat has just created for us on the default website. So here we can see node. This is what's running. If we go into hello world, we can see this is this is actually a, a running version of Node.js inside of IIS node in IIS, um, so I mean that's it, you've basically got it installed but we're going to go a step further, we're going to try and get Express running in IIS node um, if we click on Express we can see that it just has an error um, the reason why it's not working is because we need URL rewrite um, so let's go to URL rewrite this is going to take some time to install because it's a web install and I'm going to use this time to talk um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah. Well, you might be wondering why you'd want to install an IS node. Uh, I personally have a Windows server, and I don't really want to have another server as well. Because Windows server is quite good. It's easy to use. Um, I could get a Linux server and I could run Node on it, but I've already got one server. I don't want another one. Um, and this seems to be the easiest way to get I uh, to get Node.js working inside of a server, which is running uh, Windows. And you could have a command prompt open all the time running your Node.js, or maybe you can have some sort of permanent thing running in the background. But uh, this seems like the easiest way. There we go. Uh, URL is installed now. And if we refresh the page we were just on, we can see this page is now running. And also if we go to Express, you can see that's running. So there we go, we have Express running inside of uh, Node.js, which is running inside of IS Node. Um, but we're going to go another step forward. We're going to actually get our own Node.js Express server running inside of IS Node. 
So we need to create a new folder, which I've already done, called Basic Express Site. You can call it whatever you want. And you need to have two files in there to get your server running. You need to have server.js or something.js and a webconfig. Webconfig is something for IES node. Um, not IES node, IES in general. Every IES node something exists. Um, we're just specifying here that we're using IES node and that we'll be pointing it to server.js. And down here we're using the rewrite extension we installed to um, take any URL, anything which is going to the site, and we're going to send it towards server.js. In our server.js file, we're going to have express being started, we'll create express, app equals express, create server, app get, uh, the, you know, index page or whatever, and just send back express is working on IS node. And also down here we're going to see app.list and process.end.port. That this uh, variable here has been taken from IS, so you can't set the port number you're listening on. IS decides it for you. Uh, also, in order to get our website running, you know, actually, first I'm going to set up a website inside IS. So, app website, physical path. Link it to your website folder. What should we call it? Node. Now nah, let's call it IS node and IS node dot local and that's all you need. There we go. And we're also going to have to go to um a another file. We're gonna have to go and change our host file so when we type into our browser of choice is node local because currently that's not going to go anywhere. Problem seven found. Website doesn't exist. And over here we can see that I typed in is node local. Um, so we're going to go to our host file, which is located at Windows System 32 drivers, etc. Hosts. Oh, we need to open. Up an administrator window. There we go. And then we can add our uh, server to our host file. Cool. There we go. I've updated that. And now if I refresh that www should go to my website in IES. There we go, we've got an error, that's good. It's saying here that cannot find module express because I haven't installed express yet. So we're going to open up a administrator window and we're going to cd to my directory with my uh, yeah, folder in it. I'm going to type in npm install express and while it does that it's just going back to the folder and we can see that it's created a node modules folder and also we've got an IES node thing this is for um, bug tracking like when you have an error on the website this will be written to by IES node um, that command we just ran in here created a node modules folder and it's installed express for us so now if we go back here and we refresh, we should have a different error. And this time the error is, hmm, I can't remember what, well I know how to fix it. For some reason a lot of tutorials online, they say that we have to write create server here. But we don't have to write that. I think they must be using an older version of Express. Um, these days all you need to do is bar add equals Express. And now, if I go back, refresh the page, there we go, Express is working on IS node. So that is it, that is IS node working in Windows. Um, I have a blog post on this, so it'll be in the description, you can read it from there if it went a bit fast for you. Also I'll be having a, a GitHub page where I'll be hosting these two files. Um, so yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll, we'll see if I can make another one. Oops, don't open that up.